Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I've done it again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. As Brittany once said, I did it again. Um, this is not what I thought would be the next video on the channel, but welcome back guys. And today's quite a big day. I currently sat in my house, wondering whether a car I bought through Instagram on a direct message is gonna arrive today, or if I've just sent eight and a half grand to someone and not received a car back. So you may be wondering, Lucy, what are you talking about? What's happened here? What's gone wrong here? Now, my personality, I mean, I don't know if anyone can relate, probably not. People generally are quite careful with cars and they'll go to view them and they'll test drive them and they'll do more research. I, however, am more of the spontaneous kind. And it's in my nature that if I wanna do something and if I feel like I'm gonna do something, I just kinda go for it. You know when you have that idea and you think, yeah, I'm probably gonna end up doing that. You kinda try and talk yourself out of it, but you, you know in your head and deep down you know you're gonna go for it. Now let me take you back to the Scottish Highlands on our recent trip. We did a van life trip for 10 days in Scotland. It was absolutely epic. If you saw the last video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. I did a little van tour. Around five days into the trip, I was in a pie shop. I was already in a spontaneous mood. We had taken an hour and a half detour to buy a pie. Yes, you see where I'm going with my um, personality. Anyway, I was in a pie shop, George was in the van, he sent me someone's Instagram story of an L322 for sale, and it said, new turbos, now reduced to eight and a half thousand pounds, that was originally up for 10,000. I saw the car and I thought, I'm looking for an L322, I'm currently doing something else, I'm on a trip, I was gonna start looking again on Auto Trader when I got home, but, in the car world, when things come up, you kind of have to take your chances and go for it because sometimes the timing isn't quite right for you, but you might then miss out on a good car or a good deal or a good something. So George sent me this link and as soon as I saw it, I thought, God, that ticks a lot of boxes. That ticks a lot of what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for an L322 and a Porsche 911 996. They're the two current cars on my radar. This car, yeah, it just, it just made a lot of sense. I'll go through more of that later as to why it kind of um, got my interest. And before replying to George, I actually messaged the guy and I said, is it still available? He very quickly replied, yes it is. I asked a few more questions back and forth and about 30 minutes later, we pulled over on the side of the road and I sent the guy a deposit for the car. And we were in the middle of nowhere. We were darting between like no internet areas and it was a bit mad and it was like, there was hailstones outside and the weather was being crazy. It was really windy and we just sat in the front of our van like buying a car on a laptop. I'm just, I've never seen the car and I'm just chatting to a guy on Instagram. It's only 500 pounds. If we change our minds later, I don't know, I think it's fine. 500 pound Range Rover? Bargain. Yeah, it seems like a good price. Slightly higher mileage than you'd want, maybe. I've looked up his business and he's got lots of good reviews. I haven't got it inspected, but it's got a 12 month warranty. I feel like it's okay. I feel like well, we just have to take risks in life. That's what life's about. We're here in the Scottish Highland. There's hailstones outside. It feels quite dramatic. I feel like we should just go for it and send the money. If we've been scammed, then it's just a life lesson. It's just a life lesson. You have to have these things happen to you in life sometimes. It just feels right, doesn't it? I don't know what this is. You literally sent me an Instagram story. This is the most classic Lucy thing ever. It's stupid. You've sent me an Instagram story of a guy selling a Range Rover. An hour ago. An hour, less than an hour ago. I've chatted to him on Instagram for 10 minutes, Not yet. asked him a few questions, and I went, yeah, go on then, I'll send you some money. Why do I do this? Why do I not take it seriously? Or shouldn't I be getting an inspection done? No, but it's got, if it didn't have the 12 month warranty and if it was a private dealer, I would be, but it's it's a specialist. It's just had new turbos. Just had new turbos done. Just had a major service. Just had a major service and like gearbox service. He's got good reviews online. People trust this guy. He seems to be know what he's talking about. He's going to put a twelve month MOT on. Like there seems to just be a lot going for it. And the twelve month warranty is brilliant. And it's only an eighty pound excess, which we'll definitely be using, but it's fine. And he said he can get it to me within the week and free delivery. He's sending it to us for free. So he reduced the price for fifteen hundred pounds. Probably for a reason. But <laughs> it's down from 10 grand, but no one wanted it. I wanted it at eight and a half. I'm happy with that. It's a, plus, it's a grand more than our old one, but it's got less mileage. It's a year newer. It's a slightly newer model with like the twisty. Oh, it's, I don't actually love the twisty, but it's fine. We'll move past that. I can maybe sell the wheels. So I don't like the wheels, but I can sell them. Okay, let's do it. Let's just go for it. I'm just going to... Let's just put his details in. What's his account number? Are you ready? Yep. Going ahead. Okay, the money's been sent. What a lovely day to do that. Scotland inspired me. I've seen a lot of Land Rovers and Range Rovers up here. Anyway, should we could be carrying our van tour of Scotland instead of like buying cars on the road. Literally, we're going through areas with no internet. 
and then like that's the time I choose to buy a car. I'm like, you know what? I've got really fast internet at home. I go everywhere with fast internet. I want to drive into the middle of the Scottish Highlands in the middle of nowhere with barely any signal and decide to purchase a car then. I better carry on this drive, otherwise I might end up buying a Porsche 911 as well while we're at it clearly in the mood to spend money. I just bought uh, four pies from a pie shop and then the next purchase I made was an L322. <laughs> and then the next one probably like a cup of coffee or something. So it's fine, it's just all in moderation. It's what life's about. But I just sent the deposit. Once we got back from the Highlands, we were chatting more and because the car's being transported down from Manchester, when it left the guy's site, we had to like send the full amount, which felt kind of weird, like sending this much money to someone. Firstly, having not seen the car, we haven't driven the car and I'm just putting my trust in this guy. I mean, he is a legit guy. The reviews are good online. It's a company called V8 Volt. He seems to always have good stuff and the reviews are good online. Um, so yeah, essentially, I I feel 98% okay about this. 2% is slightly worried, but I shouldn't be worried. I should just be confident. But as much as I trust the guy, I'm more concerned at myself for buying a car um, without seeing it. And even more so that I just purchased a car via an Instagram DM, direct message. <laughs> which I've never done before. I've bought cars in funny ways, but never like this. But anyway, that is the plan. The channel is now back in Range Rover territory as we like it to be. Um, so quick rundown of the car. I'm not gonna give it all away until the car gets here, but for now, it's an L322, it's 2010. It's got a really fun and unusual color combo. It's a 4.4 litre TDV8, which I'm very excited for. And of course, being the year it is, it's the like facelifted version. So it's newer than the one I owned previously. It ticks a lot of boxes for me and it's got a really good spec. It's got a good service history and it also comes with a 12 month warranty, which is obviously a great thing. A good thing you want to hear as a Range Rover owner. We know they go wrong. We know how they have their issues quite often. So having that reassurance is definitely a good thing. But anyway, my plan now is to sit at home with my fingers and toes crossed as I wait to find out if it's gonna get dark tonight and the Range Rover won't be here and I'll still be looking out of the kitchen window longing for it, um, or if hopefully soon it's gonna arrive on the transporter um, down from Manchester. So, fingers crossed, the next scene is a car getting here. Okay, great, yeah. Okay, see you soon, thank you, bye. bye. Just had a call from a guy who had a Manchester accent who said they're 40 minutes away. So, I think we're good to go. Things are leaning in the right direction. This is hilarious. So my dad has just sent me a text, almost with you, and somehow where he is, he knows we're getting the car, and he sent me a photo of the car on the transporter near where we live. How random that he just bumped into that. So yeah, looking even more likely now. <laughs> yes, it's here. Ooh, looks good. Oh, looks good. Okay, guys, the car is here. The delivery guy, <coughs> the guy with the transporter just left. Um, and I'm sat inside it for the first time. First things first, I've got five miles of fuel. So I need to get to a petrol station ASAP. I don't want to risk starting up too many times and then we run out of fuel. But I thought I'd give you my like first impression. Um, it definitely needs a clean. So I'm also going to get it valeted today because we're going on a little trip tomorrow with the car. And I'm going to do like a full video on the whole spec and the condition and exactly what we went for. And we've got a trip to the Cotswolds planned for that. So we can like properly show you around it. But right now, I just wanted to show you very quickly like first impressions. So we've got our lock-in wheel nut, which is always good um it's of course the facelifted version so we've got the um newer gear stick which i actually don't actually like that much i prefer an actual manual gear stick like a gear changer but it is nice like having the upgraded version for other reasons as well but um so we've gone for this really amazing interior i love it so much it's like the beigey sort of leather against this dark wood and then the black leather along the top here i'm back behind a steering wheel that looks like this which i'm so happy about um and yeah we've just got the continued beige leather here and wood here i mean there's a few little marks and stuff but it's all just cosmetic really and the seats like the one i'm sat on right now it's hard to show you because i'm sat on it but um yeah it's in like it's in good nick there's, there's no rips but it is pretty dirty like um this wouldn't just wipe off i'll need to properly like get it detailed or try and do it myself so if anyone's got any products they recommend for this let me know because i definitely need to do some cleaning um and yeah even like here it's a little bit mucky but it doesn't matter because i just i love these seats look at the color and it's got this amazing navy leather piping along 
which I just think looks so cool. Um, and oh yeah, we've got the rec reclining rear seats as well, which I'll show you guys soon. But very happy to be sat back in a Range Rover. We have also only got one key, so I'm going to need to get another one of them. Um, that's a question I actually forgot to ask, admittedly. Um, so yeah, only one key. So I don't want to risk locking ourselves out of the car. So I'm going to buy another one of those, which I think is probably about £150. And a little glimpse at the wheels, which I think are a little bit Marmite. These are actually L405 wheels and it should be 50s, not 55s on an L322 strictly. So I'm thinking I might sell these wheels and find some other ones that are more kind of as an L322 should be, because I don't really like these with this color combination, the blue with the gray. It's like a sort of gunmetal gray. I think they're nice wheels, but not for this car. Have a little look in the boot. Just checking for like rust and things as well. All looks pretty good. It's had some touch-ups there, but yeah, it looks okay. Got our parcel shelf, which is a little bit grubby, but that's okay. And the tailgate isn't actually coming down here. So that is an issue. We have got the warranty, so I guess that will take care of that, but hmm. Okay, overall, very, very pleased with the car. We've got a few little things to sort out with like little jobs to do on the car, which is exactly what I wanted. So there's gonna be some more like DIY content coming soon on that. Some little fixes, things I wanna do to return it back to its proper original state. And Ben at V8 Volt has been great. So I basically messaged him saying there's a few things missing and he's sending it first class tomorrow. But basically I really wanted it like on a rush delivery service because we are away tomorrow and he's away at the moment. So he's like done it all blessing via Instagram with me and like trying to do a handover when he's not in the country. So actually it's been really great that he's managed to get it to me so soon. And obviously had he been there to do the handover, those things wouldn't have been missing and like, it would have a bit more fuel in and it might have been cleaned and stuff like that. But it's just one of those things. And it was like me wanting it sooner. If I could have waited, which I didn't want to, it would have been done properly. So yeah, overall, it wasn't a bad idea to buy a car off of Instagram yet. So all good. Make sure you're subscribed to see the next video on the channel, which is going to be a full reveal of the car, showing you the whole thing. I didn't want to just do it outside my house today because it's a bit boring. I wanted to drive it to the beautiful Cotswolds and do it justice and do a really nice video all about it, the condition, the spec, some of the cool features it's got, some of the things we want to do to it, some of the ideas we've got. Really excited for this car and for some more videos with it coming very soon. We're even going to try and track down some Fords in the Cotswolds. Are we going with our friends? I've got a Defender, so looking forward to that. But we are still on the lookout for a 911, so watch this space. Maybe we're getting both. I think we're getting both. I think that's happening. <sighs> Why am I like this? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very soon in the next Lucy on Cars. Goodbye.